are heavily regulated in other countries. Even worse, American food companies are selling the same product overseas without these chemicals, but choose to serve us the most toxic version. One set of ingredients over there and another one here. Let me give you some examples. This is McDonald's French fries from the United States. It has 11 ingredients, but in the UK, there's only four and salt is optional. This one has an ingredient called dimethyl polysiloxane and that can be preserved with formaldehyde, a neurotoxin, and just happens to be the first ingredient in Silly Putty. This is United States Fanta right here. It's made with high fructose corn syrup, artificial dye, yellow six, red 40, and sodium benzenate. In the UK, they have real orange juice inside and it's colored with carrots and pumpkin. In Skittles, there's 10 different artificial dyes here in the United States, plus titanium dioxide, an ingredient that's banned in Europe because it causes DNA damage. Gatorade here in the United States uses red 40 and caramel color. In Germany, they use carrots and sweet potatoes to color their Gatorade. M&M has 10 artificial dyes made from petroleum linked to hyperactivity in children here in the United States and in the UK, they only use one. And let's talk about Doritos. Doritos, this bag of Doritos from the United States has MSG and artificial food dye, but in the UK, it doesn't. And America's favorite cookie, Oreo's birthday cake has four different artificial food dyes. And in Europe, they use beets, spirulina, and turmeric. And worst of all, right over the border, this box of Fruit Loops in Canada is naturally colored with carrot juice, blueberry juice, and watermelon juice. This American version has four different artificial dyes made from petroleum and the preservative BHT, which is an endocrine disrupting chemical linked to cancer. This is why I became a food activist. My name is Bonnie Hari and I only want one thing. I want Americans to be treated the same way as citizens in other countries by our own American companies. Over the last 60 years, almost all food additives have been created for one sole purpose to improve the bottom line of the food industry and not improve our health. These chemicals are created to mimic real food, to make it easier and cheaper for food manufacturers to preserve their food, to make it last longer on the shelf, to help manufacturing and sinister of all, to allow them to create products that are addictive in nature. We use over 10,000 food additives in the United States, but there's only 400 approved for use in Europe. Right now, we're at a critical moment where Americans are sicker than ever, and much of this, of this is due to the alarming amount of chemicals in our food. Asking companies to remove artificial food dye would make an immediate impact. They don't need to reinvent the wheel they already have the formulations as I've shown you. Food companies have found in focus groups, children will eat more of their product with artificial dye because it's more attractive and appealing. Do you want to see the differences between? Yeah, let's open the box, let's see it. Let's see it, let's see it. 
So this is the U.S. version right here. And this is the Canadian version. Here we go. And the worst part, food companies know the harms of these additives because they willingly remove them overseas due to stricter regulations to avoid warning labels that state it ca will cause an adverse effect on activity and attention in children and due to other health risks like autoimmune disorders and cancer. This is one of the most hypocritical policies of food companies and somebody needs to hold them accountable. The FDA is asleep at the wheel. They've admitted they're not capable of regulating all these chemicals in our food. And the food companies are using the lack of regulation to their advantage. Right now, I'm petitioning Kellogg's because the government hasn't taken up the issue. In 2015, Kellogg's announced plans to remove these dyes by 2018, but they never did, and they lied to us. Instead, they kept inventing new cereals for children with these dyes and preservatives, using the most, to most popular toddler songs and movies to hook modern children of today, like Baby Shark Cereal and Disney's Little Mermaid, targeting the most vulnerable of children. We have now close to 150,000 signatures on the petition to ask Kellogg's to finally serve Americans the same cereals they are serving in other countries. And I will be delivering these petitions to Kellogg's headquarters in Battle Creek, Michigan next month on October 15th. I hope you join me. Come with me. I need you. And because health is nonpartisan, I'm inviting both presidential candidates to join me. This is going to be a massive grassroots gathering to hold Kellogg's, one of the biggest, most iconic American food companies, accountable for this madness. We deserve the same, safer ingredients other countries get. We cannot allow our own American companies to treat us this way anymore. We have had enough. It's unethical, and it needs to stop. Thank you very much.